Hi guys, uh, uh, today I want to dive into the Trimble Sideworks a little bit more. Uh, the reason, of course, is the exciting news of uh, the TSC5 coming out, which looks like a suitable replacement for the TSC3. So I'm really excited about it, as you guys could see from my uh, previous post. But that means that I have to kind of start looking at the Trimble Sideworks, which uh, we covered the other day that this is the next iteration of, uh, um, you know, Trimble Field Software, which is great. Uh, so far, I'm finding uh, uh, lots of little exciting news. But today I want to go over uh, the adding a background image into a controller itself, right? So I ran into it uh, uh, when you are in the Trimble Sideworks and you hit the map options. You see here we have uh, images and you can check that, select your transparency, right? And select the image. As you can see, this project uh, has no images yet. So the purpose of this video is how would we get the proper image into Trimble Sideworks, right? Now, to do that, let's go, uh, okay, I'm gonna exit out back to my uh, design here. Uh, to do that, let's go into a business center and open the associated project with that, uh, with that job, which I had opened, right? So. Let's load it. And as you can see, I already have a background image here. Uh, I use this all the time because uh, it's a good check for your design, whether you have your pads in the right location, right size, right? So I, I, I like that idea. Now, as you can see, same design in the Trimble Sideworks. So how would I export an image? Uh, you can read the details in the article on the in the blog post, right? But right now I'm gonna go and under CAD at the right hand side here we have uh, somewhere I think it's this one capture image. So once you hit that, of course it's gonna ask us for a license. Okay, pause this. And of course, I forgot my hardware key on the other computer, so I brought it in uh, and let's uh, hit support. Um, license manager, where is the license manager? And I'm just gonna hit apply here and hopefully it will find my um, key. So we happy campers there. I'm gonna hit OK, and uh, it's a good demonstration that once you have the business center file prepared, you don't need the license version to view it, right? Let's say that. So we're gonna go back. The <coughs> capture image, right? It's under the CAD ribbon. Hit capture image, and uh, now it's gonna ask us for the uh, name, right? So I'm just gonna uh, call it like FD plan. Now resolution, I uh, recommend the highest, right? Because then when you're zooming in, you get the perfect, uh, well, better resolution, right? The pixels are not gonna be too big, right? Uh, select the plot box and I forgot, uh, we need to hit these three dots here. So where are we gonna export it, right? So it, it, by default, it exports it into the snapshot folder. Now, because I am on the same computer, I can go to my Trimble Synchronizer data, my PC controller, my uh, SCS data, my Bailey Ranch uh, thing. And you see, once I opened it up in the Sideworks, it added this background images folder, right? So I'm gonna double click that and I'm gonna save it. Now, the other option I forgot to do, right, uh, to mention is which format, right? So I tried, uh, you know, PNG, JPEG. Did not try TIFF yet, but uh, maybe that's the time. I know GIF works perfectly, so I'm just gonna hit set. I have my DPI set, and now select plot box, right? Instead of that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on my 
my uh, PDF file, right? So then I'm gonna hit uh, apply and it's gonna hopefully export, right? So if I wanna see it, right? Now the problem with this is that I have basically captured the whole thing uh, with my line work and everything, right? So I'm gonna exit that, that's one. And let's go and basically unselect everything, all the layers, right? Boom, boom. Just leave the georeference image here which I'm gonna select, right? And I'm gonna go to capture image again, right? And I'm gonna call this one. So I'm gonna go back to my Trimble Synchronizer Data PC, um, SCS, Bailey Range, Background Images. And I'm gonna call this one FD1 Plan. I'm gonna save that, apply. And I wanna try one more, I wanna try the TIF image. Oops, and I have to go again to my, oh no, I was at the right place, hey? So, FD plan 00, uh, FD1, I'm gonna apply that. And for the fun of it, right, let's do JPEG and, and one more, let's do, we have PNG. So this way we can switch through them in the side works. And so as you can see, I got like uh, five images there. I'm gonna go to the folder, right, to the Trimble Synchronizer Data folder, just to make sure the background images, you know, he. The business center exported a whole bunch of files, right? So KML is the Google uh, Earth image. Obviously our GIF, uh, TIF, PNG and all that. And now GW, uh, GFW, I'm guessing that's the georeference data for the image. So we have all that. Then we can go back to my our site works, right? And now if we go to a uh, background image, as you can see, all of them show here, right? So let's try the JPEG first, right? And kind of zoom in. And this is what I was saying, right? That, uh, oops. Um, see how this is not really clear and it's kind of, Desorted. We can also uh, do the transparency. Let's say 10%. Let's see what that does, right? Uh, I mean, very right. Or go to you know 90%. So this should show the lines. You see, but the, it's not really pretty. I still don't like it. So let's try now. Um, the second one was PNG. So those are the most common, right, image files. Same thing as you can see, the one here, it's not really uh, that great, right? Uh, let's go um, try, haven't seen the TIF yet. I mean, uh, it's still a little bit kind of, you can't really read the number and everything. And that's where I was saying that uh, when I tried this initially, when I played with it, uh, the GIF was the best. That's the best result I got. Uh, maybe I am lying here because I can't still read the load numbers and everything, right? So. And now I'm wondering why is that happening? Okay, images uh, go like for you know, what was it initially at sixty percent? Save it. 
Yeah, no, I'm not really happy. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, because the FD plan one, I think GIF was with the proper 300 DPI resolution. So let's see if I have that. FD plan, G FD plan GIF with, was with the line work, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Even though you can see better things there, so let's go back to business center and see if we can figure that one out better oh no i did the png i want to do the gif again Thirty plan zero five. I don't even see it here. Did I forget to hit accept here? Oh yeah, apply. Forget to hit apply. Let's go back here and then now we should see. Did it do it? What, what am I doing wrong? Well, let's see where I enter this thing. Yeah. And it's in the. Yeah. It's proper. Maybe I have to accept this one. And then go back here. And kind of like a refresh. Oh, now here we go. Accept. Okay, so I think this one is the proper one which I want. I'm gonna go to my layers and um, unselect them all so we can just see the, the image. Okay, so you see now uh, for some reason uh, this <coughs> it's readable, right? So if we change it back to let's say that initial FD plan, no, FD plan one, right? I hit accept as you can see this is not readable right so uh, you um, have to probably play with it but the last one I'm not sure whether it's uh, because I zoomed in a little bit or why right you see the size is actually smaller than the initial one however you can actually read right so now if you turn on your layers right uh, you're gonna see nicely uh, where would I find this really interesting interesting right so I, I used to have to do all the annotations right like the main for elevations and I don't know what else right like uh, load numbers and whatever now I do not have to do this anymore because if I uh, underlie this image it's gonna show the, the the proper information right so the field crew doesn't have to really you know they just gonna read their plan right the the i don't have to translate it or, or redo it in into the cad so they will be able to see well that was it even with the few glitches there i hope you enjoyed it hit like subscribe uh, hit me up on questions and uh I'm going to keep on digging in uh, through the Trimble Sideworks and hopefully get my hands on a TSC5 so we can do a full-blown review. And yeah, see, have a great week and see you.